Hi, this is Dr. Francis Price, and I'm going to show you the differences between doing DEMEC, decimase membrane endothelial keratoplasty, in an eye that has its own natural lens, which we're going to leave in place, and the other ones that we typically do. Now, just like the other ones, we're going to make the incisions, but here we're putting a gooey material in the eye called viscoelastic. We do that after we inject the anesthetic agent. As in the other ones, we're going to score decimase membrane and then strip it out. But we're doing this with the viscoelastic in the eye. This maintains the anterior chamber so that we don't have as much risk to damage the natural lens as we do not want to cause a cataract prematurely. So we're going to strip off decimase membrane from the patient, the disease decimase membrane. And then after we do that, we will go back into the eye and actually make a hole in the iris, the colored part of the eye, to prevent what we call pupillary block or air block from the air we put in at the end of the case. Here we're making the main incision to put the donor in later, and now we're making the hole in the colored part of the eye. And these devices are both placing fluid into the eye and at the same time out of the other handpiece or aspirating out the viscoelastic. We want to make sure we vacuum all the viscoelastic off the back of the cornea. In fact, we'll provide the reference at the end that we've published that demonstrates how if you don't remove this you can get difficulties with interface haze and scarring between the donor and the recipient cornea. So this is really the big difference is the use of viscoelastic for this part from what we typically would do in someone that's already had cataract surgery. We're now going to inject the donor and the rest of the surgery would go like we've previously shown on our other videos of Demec.